Hi. Tech Rabbit here. Um, continue building the 3D printer. And the next phase is the E axis assembly, and um, that's going to take us a while because it actually has um, 66 steps. So we're probably going to have to divide this um, build process into several parts to make any kind of sense to have the energy do it and show it properly. So, um, so anyways. First we'll take the um, look at the parts, like we usually do. So as you see it's quite a lot of parts. All of them to do with the extruder assembly. Even though it only has one one bag related directly to the extruder. But anyway, you have the extruder, you have the E axis um, plastic parts, these ones here, and then you have the hardware, this is the collection of hardware. And, um, so that's the motor, extruder, part cooling fan, extruder cooling fan, um, level detector, I think that's for the infrared sensor, infrared sensors there, this is all the plastic parts for um, the extruder assembly, this one also, and then there's these um, coke wheels and then the belt. So anyway, let's get this um, cleaned up so we can start. This is step one. No wait, it says step two, and this is just a bunch of warnings, so I can just jump over. And then here I've gathered the parts for the first, which is step three: extruder body parts preparation and extruder body parts preparation. Step four, and this is gonna take a while to build. And then we have to figure out how to, what would be the best, um, the best way to cover it from a video perspective. So, you know, that's what it looks like. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to insert the nuts into this one. I have the right, should be the okay, but then you need to turn it around. Ah, okay. I need to have it turn around and the nuts. Oops. And then there was a suggestion to actually pull them through, so Let's see if that one's long enough. Yeah. I think I'd like to borrow one of the longer. Definitely won't mix up with the screws once used. Oh, let's take the long one. Oops. Ah. <laughs> How difficult can it be to <laughs> put a nut on the screw? Uh, you don't want to go in there.
It didn't seem to go in there at all. So, new test. Oh, come on. Really not going very well right now. Ah, this is ridiculous. Come on. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate this because that that hole doesn't seem to be working at all. So well, that was <laughs> not that easy. Uh, I'm going to use this screw first just to get it centered on the hole and then I use this screw here insert it from this side to actually um, tighten it up so that it pulls it in properly but anyway, they're in now, so that's done and then it will be two of these two and they need to be inserted in there to be pushed in further with with this I think. Just got to make sure you don't know. uh, focus. Yeah. So I just have to make sure it doesn't break off these kind of small little things by push pressing on it too much. on that side but was that too thick this Allen <coughs> well it's definitely not tight in there prop so looking for <laughs> and I packed away all the tools that I actually need. Oh. supposed to get that into position. It was ridiculous. Ah, now it went in. And this is lined up. Yep, perfect. See, and but the thing is, you need to make sure that it's um, 
lined up in the hole. And the um, nut. So no, that one <laughs> won't be dropping out of there anytime soon. That's for sure. Okay. Again, the pressing thing on it needs to make sure it doesn't break the part. That would not be fun. Or a knife one's hands. Let's see, can I even see if that's... That doesn't probably doesn't go so deep. tools back here. The flat Allen wrench would be better to test the, to see if this thing is centered. Yeah, that's centered. Can't even measure it. Yeah, close to so, that's okay, and there's no risk of that dropping out, even if they were warning that that might happen. Oh, wait, we need to put the screw in. And the screw is the one we need to put in, is... What did it say about the... Uh, 10. The 10 of the screw needs to go in. See that bridge? Just there. Well, that should be a gap. But that's all. When I mean, it's been printed, it's been closed. So I need to um, need to adjust that. So let's fix that. So now it actually has a gap. That's the when you're working with 3D printed boards, they're not perfect. That's life. Know that and experience. Okay, so what's next? Then we need to take this weird looking port. Which is so small that I can hardly even see it myself. Man, that's so small. Okay, so and that should hold a magnet. The one that's smaller. And that's in this package. Well, both magnets are actually in this package. And they said that you should keep them apart. 
but then they're delivered in a package where they're both in the same box. So, anyway, <laughs> what to say? Shouldn't they put it into two different packages then? Okay, and they did warn about them being a bit tough, so let's put that in there. Close that up. Put it over there. And then this magnet should, in theory, go in there. And since this is magnetic material, one shouldn't really be very violent with it, putting it in. Oh, not so easy to get in. No, I really would not like to do what I'm doing now. Yes, exactly. For that reason. Okay, let's see if we can persuade it to go in. Okay. I got it started. Let go of the table here. Not bust that edge off. So that would be miserable. And try and push it down. I think I got it as deep as it's supposed to. I mean, the picture is a bit vague as to how... Oh, it should be popped out just a little bit. So I suppose we could say that that's okay. Oops. Like that much. And then it's maxed out if you look at the hole in there. And I didn't break it, so... I was worried about this little tiny piece of print that's, that's on the end. That part could break that very easily. Okay, so I think we've done that one. And then this was the very mysterious instruction where you need to get the magnet the right way around. Here it's the long magnet it talks about, so we need to insert that. And we need to put it in such a way that it repels the other magnet, which means we have to have it the right way round. No. Okay, so I think this means we have to insert that. We have to insert this one. Okay, so which way around? Mm -hmm. Does not show it that well. Okay, it's the magnet side up. Magnet side up, insert it in there. Like that. This one holding it. Soft tapping screw, I suppose. Wait, we'll read it here. Uh, FS lever in the body secure the part with the M318 tightened it, but ensure the lever can move freely. Warning, make sure that the following procedures are done right, otherwise the filament sensor will not work. So the bigger magnet in the extruder body, it will stick out. Correct set of magnets we have, so it's still banging on about this repelling. But it has to be inserted so that it repels. Inserted in that way around, and then there's the screw to go in. Okay. 
and it's self-tapping holes need you just screw the screw in but then we need to make sure that the screw is not tightened down so um, it prevents the lever from moving Video in black stuff against black. It's like, oh god. Hope, uh, hope they'll be able to see something in the video. Okay, now we need to take out the bigger magnet. And now we need to um, see which. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not in there. Oh, that's the way it repels. So, I mean, magnets, you know, you either put it in one way or the other, and then in the the way that it, the uh, the way round that is correct is when um, the other side gets repulsed according to this instruction. So then this should be okay. And then it is very hard to see how much it's to stick out. It will stick out. It says. Okay doesn't really help us to actually how much oh. seemingly it's uh, that much then I just have to trust that that's okay so that was step I should actually read out what step it is that's step 6 and then there's step 7 related to putting the ball bearing in this housing it's not housing, and oh, let me just drop the ball bearing in it. So, done. And then you're supposed to see that it can move freely. Yeah. Seems to rattle around. Suppose we can say that it's okay. Printed part adapter printer. Roll, the, roll with this ball to all sides to ensure smooth movement. In case of any rough surface, remove the ball and clean the, ins the inside of the printed part. Place the pinned part together with the steel ball in the extruder body. The surface of both parts should be almost aligned. Don't use any screw to secure it. Uh, so where does this belong? Like. Hmm. I can we understand it's the ball on that side? It goes here then. I suppose. Yeah, it's just a stiff fit. Okay, so that's there. And that was step seven. Okay, now we're going to get into a different domain. So we can put that away. So now we want to deal with the motor. So extruder motor, extruder motor plate. Extruder motor plate must be. I'm guessing it's that one. And then we need M310 screws. Two of them.
bone tech gear with grub screw. The screw is out. I'm screwed in. Okay, it's the bone duct with the grub screw that we need now. And there's one without. Okay. That's strange. Here's the bag. It has all, all three in it. So let's see. So I really understand why. The one with and the one without. Huh? Does it make any sense? Aha! Okay, yes, this, this one actually doesn't got any on it. So okay. So we want the, what did it say? Now oh, I forgot it already. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, use now Bondock gear with a grub screw. So, okay. Put that back. The one without. And then we take that one. So that should be the one we need. Uh, So double check your work, it says. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, we're still gonna do wrong and we have to redo it. Anyway, whatever. We have to continue, otherwise we will not get this filled. So anyway, we have this like this. Like that, and then the printed. Okay, it wants to go that way around. Man, these black pictures are awful. So it's like that. Got it. Okay. So cable. No, nope, still wrong. Because it needs to be rotated like that. So now it should be okay. And then it said to only use two screws. One here. And resist the urge to put a third one in. Okay, I'll do that. Nope, not in there. <laughs> put it in here instead. in there so then we have it like like that and it should be according to the picture I put it the same orientation as the picture yeah uh, rotate the shaft so the flat part faces the direction of the arrow so I have to turn it around Correct. And then we put this one this way around with the screw face. Oh, wait, yeah, I'll be on the screw out of there. Wow, that's a small one. Okay, so we need to dig out the tools again. Alan's thing, Alan thing, oh, it's that one. Facing against the flat, yeah, yeah, tighten the screws slightly. Okay, 
So we should not tighten this permanently, we should tighten it slightly. And yet see the chin. Props in the door, I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be lined up many times before so we can So put it lightly because it's going to be adjusted something like that as a preliminary okay uh, piece of filament and check the alignment of the grub screw and I actually don't have a piece of filament right in my hand so I'm gonna have to actually get it pause. okay let's see so in theory you're supposed to take a piece of filament put it across that um, pathway press it down and then make sure that the groove here is aligned, but I must say those aren't very accurate, those pathways. Take a piece of 0 1.75 filament, yeah I got that, blah blah blah. Film on path, we always slightly bent, use it anyway for initial alignment. Final check, replace the filament with Allen key. Bear in mind the key is slightly different size than the filament. Tighten the screw a lot slightly to temporary fix it, if you want to make the final check. Tighten the lever. Be careful, you can trip the thread. Now, they, those are very the the um, Allen keys. There are a bit, and then don't use any <laughs> any glue. Yeah. yeah, many many people do that mistake. But I mean, if you have, a, but I mean, these these are good because they're uh, they actually have a flat edge. So I wouldn't worry about using. Oh, uh, uh, I don't think glue. Would be. It's more that sometimes. Yeah, I wouldn't use it, not for this. this if you have those separate motors that don't have a um, flat surface, and they do exist, then you might need to apply glue. And then it said to use an Allen key to check also across. Oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit difficult. I mean, the holes aren't even lined up. I mean, the, this this channel is I mean these things wear in and it doesn't matter it's not so accurate so I mean there's probably residue from printing in, in there anyway in that channel so if you you run at like five meters of filament then it'll be it'll be okay it's not an exact science uh, so we've done everything we're gonna do it's not supposed to be really really tight it even looks awful in this picture. <laughs> you won't be able to see it without the manual. That doesn't even look straight. Whatever. We'll move on. That's the way to get things done, is to just move on. Otherwise, won't get stuck. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So step eleven. Uh, extrude cover part. Preparation. Okay. Mm, must be this one. 
symbols as not things. Oh, they did say that in the hardware bag there's extras. That. So one shouldn't be super scared if one builds this whole thing. Finds out that there's like extra hardware left over. So they did say that there, there are extra extras included. Hot-end parts preparation. So then we need this one. Go away. We need those long screws. Two, three. And then those short ones are. supposed to do with this thing. Okay, so that's just um, then there's all this kind of lots of extra text here. You will use one M340 later on. Keep it around. Don't cut the main zip tie on the hot end cable so don't open it up. It hasn't got a zip tie, it's got a rubber band. Or, okay, it has both. Or is there, there is no zip tie on this thing. But anyway, whatever, some mistake in the documentation. But it has this marking that this should be okay for our printer. And the Teflon tube is already inserted, so I'm assuming that that's correct. There's also a bit of confusion in the documentation about that. Didn't really understand. going away from us. Okay. Got it. No, I don't know this. Aha, okay. It was, I know, they want us to put those two um, screws in here because they think it's easier to put them in now. Than later, and I can understand. Ah. 
Okay, we'll see. It is easier to put them in now, but... We will see if they get in the way. You're not supposed to screw them right through. Just put them in, in there as placeholders for now. Oh, that's... <laughs> Uh, that's slippery, so okay. Alright, let me have to put this back in again. Okay, that interferes. Uh, something not completely correct. The problem I'm having is that this here, this part here, is in, or the part of this extrusion is interfering with the with the hot end. It's touching it. I don't know if it. Uh, I don't know if it really should. So I'm just gonna have to try and look at the picture a bit more and see if I can. Diagrams, what the what it's all about. Back in a sec. Okay, so me and my not understanding this away from your hand with the cables. It actually means that they should be like this. Like that. And it's very slippery to move this, and that I have experience of the slide all over the place. Okay, and then we need to put in. I they suggest using a box uh, to support it, and and that that just I don't I don't think that'll work. 
it, it slides around too much and when you put the cables there it just pushes the whole thing around now I don't think it'll, it'll really work so I'm going to try without and then we need to take this oh, I can actually see if I can get it to focus so these two parts need to go together get it in no oh, it's actually quite a good I mean it's this part and that part and then they're supposed to go together like that and then this gets a bit clamped so let's see what it says here what's that on the box uh, it, it might work now since it's much heavier oh, okay clicked in the places hmm. might pull the longer magnet out. I don't know if I saw that. No. Oh, that's so stuck in there. I don't think that'll... Whoops! Ah, why did they start saying that in the comments? I had this together. Ridiculous. I think I'm going to ignore the instructions that is getting in my way. I already had this together. So, right, now. Stop bugging around. So, what are we looking at? We're looking at... Now, let's put it down. The thing is, when it says cables pointing down, it doesn't mean the extruder is pointing down, so that's, that's a bit confusing. But anyway, that should be the right way around. Yeah, looks just fine. I don't know what it's saying about the longer man coming out that's so stuck in there though I don't think it'll go in. Okay. So now they want us to Hold it like, like this. I think I need to get rid of that small cam. I don't think it's really doing much use right now. So, I think we should have the main cam. So I want that pressed in there. And then, um, it wants to take the cover, which is presumably that. And according to this very bad small picture, you can get full size pictures off the um, Prusa website. Now I want to get this built. Okay, so that will sit on top of there. And then there was. two. Oops. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, no. oh, they're so tight. That's what the problem is. Well, let's hope those holes aren't too tight. I haven't got any hands to deal with this one. I'll try and get this one through first. No, no, focus. Oops, okay. 
thing it didn't take the so I'm going to slightly tighten that. Does it fall apart? Now the next one. Lot of screw. I should have. I don't want to use any automated screwing assistance because these are delicate parts. I really want to damage any. So now I think I can nearly. So see now it's gone in nicely. Tighten it on, and then it said that it. Should exclude, exclude, <laughs> come out from the other side, and that's what it's actually done. So, uh, don't really understand those still. Uh, we'll see, I suppose. What they are for. Okay, so now we've done this box part, which I didn't think was that much fun. But what's that? Okay, so that um, purple arrow was just for the extruder cover, and then those are the two screws, so we haven't missed any. Uh, yellow ones were for positioning of fingers, don't care about that, so, okay, put that away there. So the next one is X, X carriage parts preparation. So that's this one, and then it's some kind of cable, it's here I'm assuming, but it looks exactly the same as in the picture, have that now. True! M3 and not 2. I am interpreting this. And four of the those ones. said we should um, keep that for later. Okay, so I have some ports. Oh, did I take the wrong? No, it's the... should be the correct nuts. And they should be made to go down in this. Oh, maybe I should take the small can. Oh, it looks perfect. Down there in that hole. Oh, man. Okay, so I will put the two standard nuts down there. I will be back when that's done. This is going to be possibly a bit fiddly. Okay, so now they're in there. To use the um, let's see, maybe we need to go back to the mini cap. Oh, now they're in there. 
Well, then I had to use a combination of this big one and then a 10 millimeter long one to actually get them really pull, pulled down into this loft. So anyway, the next thing to do is to put these four flat nuts and they need to be positioned here and here and there and then there's one in here. So I will get that fiddly job done. So that's done. Oh, there's no way to see is there. get the light in it. Okay, you can just just about see those two. <laughs> and then there's one in the middle. There. And then the last one is here. So, that's done. Right, and that was called step 16. Uh, X carriage or something. Oh, no. I think they're very useful. Okay, assembling the RF sensor cable. So that'll be next. Let's see if I can understand what they mean. So the thinner end should extrude. This one slipping so much. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So let's hope that's somewhat correct. and then down through there. Okay.
Okay, so here we have those 10 millimeter screws, but they're already used. So what's the next step? Aha, so now we should put the Came with the package, tool pack. Now they're there. I uh, don't just see it. So then we could use it to screw. I actually might see it in the main camera. Again, wondering if that mini cam is actually helping or getting in our way. Because now we should be able to like go in here. And screw that, but I need to bring it a bit closer to myself to work on that one to go in so it's down there it's nice and tight so maybe the other
Oh, it's not easy to see if the screw even turns. Well, I think it is going in, okay. That that one in there. And that should be okay. There's no cables pinched there, those little just falling out. Oh I remember this one. I did my other other printer. It's like you get the cables in place and then you'd like turn it the other way around and it's like ah, all the cables are all over the place. They don't stay where they're supposed to stay. Sixty-six steps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those screws we screwed in as best of our ability. I think it's actually together. We haven't destroyed any cables or any wires, as far as I can see. You weren't supposed to tighten those screws completely because you wanted to adjust the AR cable. But oh, that really doesn't have any impact on how that cable moves. So I don't really 100% understand the logic. What would it have to do with that? Or have I not rooted the cable correctly? Have I done something wrong? I don't think so. Should go through there. Why would they say that? Pictures are a bit confusing. I don't, I don't really understand why they're saying that one shouldn't tighten them because one wants to adjust the infrared sensor cable. It makes no sense to me. Well, I put the infrared cable the wrong s no, you can't put it the wrong side. It's the same cable duct. Shornoworth, they used the M310 screws in the Allen key with the ball and to connect both parts together. If you are inserting the screw at this moment, you will still slightly incline. 
the beginning, but then it will straighten off after a few turns. Don't from tighten the screw completely. We need to adjust the AR sensor cable. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Because there really has those screws wouldn't have any impact on that cable path. Anyway, because there's tons of space in that cable path behind there. Or maybe they had a design once where that was a tight path. No, I'm just going to not care about that. Either. Okay, now the next is to actually put the AR sensor in place. Where's that screw? 8mm screw. Okay. Uh, we need the AR sensor. I think it's this one. I R, I meant in the wrong terms. I need to get some scissors to open. You're supposed to be very careful with that, so let's make sure we touch a lot. Touch it. Okay. Now then, let's see. To build this thing. Okay, it's M2. Yeah, all right. So then I'm going to just stop. Right, port. Uh, understand how it's supposed to be put in. Take this one. Uh, it's that way. Okay, well, that's easy. better picture to show which way around the cable should go. Red white. Okay, so speed up. Where's the then this one? So in there. Mm, that's a real small one. I wonder if I have it even out. Probably not. Mm, it's too big. Uh -huh. 
Screwing it in. So, and then don't tighten it too much because it could destroy the circuit board. According to the instructions, and I do believe that that might be the case. And then we need to make sure we get the cable on correctly and the. Um, Aren't that fantastic pictures? I can tell from the picture that I looked at. Or maybe I have it wrong. Oh, darn. No, yes I don't know, because they actually had it in the picture. It was this way around. <laughs> so I thought I got the color code. So that. So red and white. So. So, that far. So, what's next? Next page. Next page. Okay. Next page. So what do we got here? Um, it's to finish it off by inserting the final screw. Um, that is going to be a 40 millimeter screw. Cheap again. Which one it is? No, that's the long one. I? Okay, that's sort. Where's that long one? Really? Falling. Falling ah, here we go. It was this 40, yep. Yeah. 4 centimeters. Getting too tired. Put it in where? There. Let's see. Can you still there? Understanding must be there. Yeah. So that's what I said. Like. The last one should go. Okay, so how many have we done now? That's like 20, step 22. And I think we should probably call this now. Okay, I think we call that part one, because there's actually quite a lot of um, steps already taken. So then I will be putting the um, Oh, maybe there'll be one on maybe two parts um, continuing on this since there's 66 steps to take. So we'll see. Anyway, if you like this video, consider subscribing, um, hit the bell icon to be notified. 
um, share this. This is rather complicated stuff even by looking at the instructions. I hope I'm doing it correctly. Not now. We'll see if it <laughs> works when I'm done. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.